what were the factors that really got us out of this disaster that, that greedy war hogs kind of got us into? Yeah. So one Napoleon, his war in uh, Europe is stopped, right? He goes uh, similar to Adolf Hitler. Uh, there's the old rule, never wage a land war against Russia. That's what brought both Hitler and Napoleon down. They they wage a land war against Russia. And the issue with Russia is there's, there's just so much land. So you're, you're just not going to win that. So anyway, Napoleon's out. And then this initially looks bad for America because now Britain can basically turn their whole might against us. Uh, but Britain starts to be fatigued by war. Its citizens, its businesses, they've been dealing with high taxes and regulations for the Napoleonic War. They don't want to continue to deal with, uh, deal with this in um, uh, during, during this war. So we have a peace commission that goes over the Europe. I believe it's the treaty. They, they signed the Treaty of Ghent between the United States and between uh, Britain. And this is really, I think that we, we just sent like our A squad when it comes to diplomats. And Britain kind of sent like their B squad because everyone else was dealing with like the Napoleonic War. So we basically get a, a, a treaty that says like, all right, we're going to return to the status quo. It's like, all right, we, we got that. There's, there's no real discussion of the impressment issue or anything that dies down because of the Napoleonic War. But it just sort of shows you somewhat how irrelevant it was to the, the, the major forces at work. And this is OK. We, we get a. Um, you know, we get we get this treaty that it's basically we go back to the status quo, which was really a victory for us, considering how much of a disaster this war was. And then you have uh, this great battle of Andrew Jackson. Uh, he defends New Orleans, and this is seen as a, a smashing victory. We defend against the the British invaders who wanted to try and capture New Orleans and maybe split the country up or just do something. And this really, uh, this of course happens after the treaty was signed, but just due to uh, communication delays from the technology at the time, we don't know this. Mm -hmm. So we get this treaty, and then around the same time, we hear that Andrew Jackson uh, victoriously defended New Orleans. So this just seems like, oh, well, obviously this was a great victory. Like, you know, we won the war. And no, not really. We didn't win the war. We didn't get what we wanted. We didn't get Canada. We we barely got anything in, in, in Florida. Um, there was no real, like, change in the impressment issue. That just died down simply because Napoleon wasn't a threat. This was just a, a massive uh, government boondoggle that did nothing except increase our debt and lead to a whole bunch of government interventions in the future. Mm -hmm.